Hello, everyone. Happy Monday, and I hope you are all staying home, staying safe. Prayers with all of you. We're going to get through this, and all week our classes will be online. So this is for level five, and I am going to show you everything that we will do this week. So this is for level five, and that is in El Centro, Jamaica Plain. The class is ESOL. So Monday, that is this morning, March 16th, we are going to study vocabulary and review the video we watched over the weekend, Unsafe at Any Speed. After that, Tuesday, March 17th, I'm going to ask you to record your comments about the video on WhatsApp and make sure you listen before sending. Now, if you don't know how to do that, don't worry. I will show you exactly how to do that in this video. And our final class on Friday, I'm going to ask you to do pages 34 through 36 in the workbook. So first thing, I'm going to give you a nice review of what we went over last week. So last week, we were talking about government oversight. And we learned about government oversight in our personal lives. We use this example of milk. If you remember, I asked, should the government decide what you eat for breakfast? It might have been a funny question, but that was a way to introduce the USDA and the FDA. So when we go shopping, if you've been uh, part of the, uh, if you see a lot of shelves are empty these days, when you go out with all the panic buying because of the coronavirus, you <clears throat> are taking part in this government regulation. So the food that we eat, it's tested by the government. Now, some people believe this is a good thing in terms of health and safety. Others believe that this is too much oversight. And these were the discussions we had in class. So if you missed that, we also compared a Ghanan entrepreneur, Bright Simons. Bright Simons found a way for people in his country to test the medicine that they buy because many people in Ghana purchase counterfeit pharmaceuticals, counterfeit medicine. Bright Simons found a way for manufacturers, manufacturers to give customers a way to guarantee that they're buying actual products. We also learned about the Pure Food and Drug Act in 1906, and that was a policy during the presidency of Theodore Roosevelt, which we learned about in your textbooks. Now, moving forward, what I asked you to do on Friday was Google the title Unsafe at Any Speed, and I asked who wrote the book. The author of the book is a lawyer by the name of Ralph Nader, who at the time in 1965 was a student at Harvard Law. This was the video I asked you to watch. Now, if you were watching it and you noticed that the sound was too difficult, I wanted to remind everybody to use the English subtitles. So who can tell me how you find the English subtitles on a video like this? When I press play, so there it is. Whoops, I'll go back to the page. When I press play on the video, it starts to play. I hear the music, whoops, now it's not giving me the video. I press play on the video. You wanna go all the way down to the lower right-hand side, right down there. And where it says CC, that is where you will be able to add the English. So when I click that, watch what happens. The words start coming up and you can start, whoops, I'll pause it where you see the subtitles playing. There we go, the words start coming up. Oh, I just closed, there it is. So now we see the words coming up. Whoops, 
you get the idea. So keep it with the subtitles on when you play it. Now, if you had watched it over the weekend and it's a little bit confusing, I'm gonna give you some vocabulary. So here we have an example of, there it is. So this is where you can read the subtitles. You have an example of the vocabulary coming up in a minute. I'm gonna give you several vocabulary words that you can study today to get ready for your assignment on Tuesday. So I'm gonna erase all of this, watch it with the subtitles on if you haven't already. That's your assignment today, is to make sure you watch it with the subtitles on and study the vocabulary. So here we go. If most of you, most of you are watching this, you're probably saying, you know what, I don't have a computer at my home, I have to get the subtitles on my four inch screen. You're using probably an Android phone, this is an iPhone, if you're using an iPhone, it's still the same process. You pull up the YouTube video, just like this. And this is, by the way, what I sent on WhatsApp. I'm gonna minimize the screen here and show you what I sent on WhatsApp. So this is what I sent to the WhatsApp group on Friday. So there it is. That's my message to the group on Friday. And I've put it, both of the screenshots here on the big screen. So this little wheel where you see I'm making a circle with my pink marker here. This wheel is where you can get the settings for the video on your phone. And then when it says playback settings, look at captions and then click English auto generated. So if you're watching the video on your phone, <clears throat> that is how you're gonna get the English subtitles to come up on your video. Now, here comes the vocabulary. You can see that I had fun drawing all over my screen there. For the vocabulary, it's these words right here. So don't worry about taking a screenshot. Whoops, I forgot to erase one of my pink lines there. Don't worry about taking a screenshot. It's all right here. These are some of the words that come up in the video. So. The ways that these are some, I'm gonna give you some examples about how this was used uh, in the story of the book, Unsafe at Any Speed. Manufacturers of automobiles in the 1960s. Manufacturers, here's the first word. Manufacturers were more concerned with style and luxury than safety. Or if I use congressional, congressional, you can practice the pronunciation with me. This book sparked a congressional hearing in 1966. Advocacy. Ralph Nader began to work in consumer advocacy. Obsolescence. General Motors and other car companies in Detroit had planned obsolescence in their design. They had planned obsolescence. Most car accidents had a second collision. Most car accidents had a second collision. Now, if what I'm saying sounds familiar, it's because I'm quoting from the video. So here's some helpful vocabulary that you can use when you record your thoughts onto WhatsApp. All right, so that's enough vocabulary, and I'm gonna send you a picture of this vocabulary list into the WhatsApp group as well. So, here is a discussion question that we went over last week that I'm using for your assignment today. So what I'd like you to do, I move my picture back up, what I would like you to do for Tuesday, Tuesday, is to record your comments to this question on WhatsApp. Now on the left-hand side of the screen, I have a sticker. Now that's a sticker that you get on a car after it passes inspection. And the reason that you have to get a sticker like that to drive your car is a result of 
this. It's a president here, Lyndon Johnson, signing the Vehicle Safety Act of 1966. And this goes back to our discussion in class. What I'd like you to comment on is this. Do you believe the level of government oversight in car safety is appropriate? Now, it sounds like a bit of a, a facetious or rhetorical question, or maybe I'm not serious, but many people believe that their rules to drive a car are too strict today. For instance, recently I had to get new front tires on my car to get a new inspection sticker for 2020. So sometimes the driver might feel like the strict rules to put a car on the road are unfair uh, because it costs money to, for a car to, be, uh, to have upkeep. So you could make your argument that the rules are a little too strict. Now, if you believe that the rules are not strict enough, that the rules should be more strict, make your argument in that direction. And that's what I want you to do for your assignment. So the question is, do you believe the level of government oversight for car safety is appropriate? Appropriate meaning good enough. Or maybe you believe it's too much, maybe you believe that it's not good enough. And that's where I want you to develop your argument for Tuesday. So you're probably thinking, George, teacher, Mr. McKibbins, how do I do this when we're not meeting in class? This is how you're going to send me your homework. You're going to record it with the WhatsApp feature that you may or may not have used before. So I'm going to use this right now. So on the left-hand side of the screen, it says, you see a person holding the phone up to their mouth. And I'm gonna make a recording. You're gonna see it in a minute. I'm gonna make a recording on WhatsApp. I'll actually minimize the screen right here so you can see it live pop up on the WhatsApp group. Here it comes. I'm gonna minimize my screen. So there go my slides. Okay, this is our chat group. So here it is, level five. And I'm gonna open up my WhatsApp on, on the phone, level five. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I record a message. So it is this button, and I'm gonna show you on the screen because it's too hard to show you on my glowing screen. It's this button right here, the microphone. So you go to the microphone and you record yourself. So here it is. It'll say, hold record. This is how you record a message, which I would like you all to do for homework. Now you're gonna see this pop up on the group. Here it is. Oh, I gotta get rid of my marker there. So there it is. So that's the message I just sent and you're gonna see it pop up live. And that's what I'd like you to do. So once you send it, it'll show up. Now, you can also retract it. What I'm gonna do here is delete. Boom, before it renders, you can delete the message. So that's what I'm doing. I'm putting it into the trash I just deleted the message. So if you see right here, it says delete the message. You can delete the message. Now you can record it. And uh, Luis just put up a message saying why. And I'm gonna say, you'll see. You'll see in a few minutes. Okay, Luis, you has no idea he's about to be in the video for class today. Okay, so Luis, don't worry. Here it is, I'm gonna say, don't worry. Okay, all right. 
This is funny. Okay, so. Okay, not to worry, Luis. So that's what I'd like you to do. I would like you to, I'm gonna recap what I'm gonna ask you to do. So here it is. I love it that it's, Luis has no idea he's actually being recorded in this video. All right, so here it is. Your assignments for, your assignments for this week are going to be as follows. Going back to the beginning. Monday, which is this morning, I'm going to post the video sun tonight, Sunday night. This is, I'll have everybody watch it for Monday morning. Study vocabulary, review unsafe at any speed. Tuesday, by Tuesday, please record your comments about this video on WhatsApp and speak for at least one to two minutes in your recording. So we'll be posting conversations on WhatsApp. And then Friday, workbook pages 34 through 37. So that's it. I'm gonna put this video into the WhatsApp group. I'm also gonna put it into Google Classroom. Okay, and that's what we're gonna do for all our classes this week. So once again, stay safe. It, even, and uh, as I said before, if you cannot do the work, don't worry, just communicate with me uh, either with the WhatsApp group or via email. Okay, be safe everyone, bye-bye.